United Arab Emirates, celebrating its 49th National Day. The next 50 years starts here. Happy UAE National Day. Sharjah has become a place for all kinds of people who are interested in all kinds of, um, you know, art and all sorts of, well, interests and have become a place where they can grow and learn and become the best version of who they are. And today I'm joined here by the winner of the Sharjah Arts Foundation, Sharjah Film Platform Industry Hub Pitching Forum. With me is Abdullah Al Kabi. How are you doing, Abdullah? Hello, hi, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing great. First off, Camel Tears, that is the name of your film. Tell us all about that. So it's my uh, second feature film. It's, um, it's a film that kind of shows the, um, the jump in generational uh, kind of mentality between uh, the old generation and our generation. So mm-hmm. it's a story of a Bedouin who, falls, uh, who shows his love for his camel in, con- in, wow. in, in a theater play in modern times. Interesting. And, um, so it's kind of like two parallel worlds uh, showing uh, kind of our identity right now. I love it. Falling in love with his camel. That is not something you hear very often, especially since we live in the city. We're very far away from the desert. So how did that come to mind? Like, how did the story of falling in love with your camel or just the whole um, highlighting the generational gap between the different people who are living in the UAE right now? How did that come to my to your mind? Well, you know, um, Emirati society is really built upon uh, kind of, um, it's built upon tolerance, mm-hmm. harmony, peace, um, kind of coexistence, and all of these beautiful themes that um, are being uh, championed in, 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 in the public. So mm-hmm. um, I, I asked myself, you know, um, what facet of life uh, these kind of um, characteristics in our society can come from. Mm -hmm. And then I figured out, you know, our love for uh, camels and and, and the Bedouin's love for a camel uh, is that it becomes an extension of his own body and its own existence. Mm -hmm. And this interspecies kind of harmonious respect uh, has been kind of rooted very deeply in our culture. And I thought if it's possible for me to kind of portray that and to kind of show a facet of, of, of peace and harmony that we have in, in our culture, then, then I would have really succeeded in making a great film. That is a super interesting and unique way of looking at it. And that just makes me wonder, how did the process begin? Because you, are, you wrote the script and how is the process going on for the film? Well, well, to film this movie, this is your second feature. Well, I started writing it uh, a year ago. Mm-hmm. I've, I, I've moved to uh, Los Angeles for a few months to uh, to kind of work with, a, with a, in the workshop uh, to kind of get the first track out. And, mm-hmm. and then I came back and during the lockdown period, it was a great time for me to kind of advance my, my script. And um, during that quietness, I really focused on it because I believe a great film is really uh, should have a foundation of a great script. So uh, I was very glad um, when I got the email that Charge Art Foundation, who has been consistently over decades and over the years, really helping artists here in the UAE. And I was really glad to, to kind of um, apply my film and, and, and get their blessing to, to into production. And um, you know, I was very happy uh, the day uh, we won, but uh, to me, really, I feel this is a, uh, a winning award for the whole UAE cinema industry. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, because thanks to this great initiative, these kind of solid, uh, firm um, steps in towards supporting Emirati Cinema from Sharjah Art Foundation. Mm-hmm. Uh, during that forum, we had 10, uh, 10 Emirati full uh, full feature length script mm-hmm. written by Emirati uh, script writers and um, I always believe that every script has a life of its own 
um, it's a living thing. So uh, no matter what, it's going to be made in the end. And each of us has its own route. And I'm fortunate, fortunate enough to start mine with, with Sharjah. That is just some beautiful words coming from Abdullah Al-Kabi. We're not done talking to you. We're going to be taking a very short break and we're going to be talking and moving on to talk about the UAE film industry and what is happening over there. So stay tuned for that and much more right here on the Afternoon Karak. This is Pulse 95. I am joined here by Abdullah Al-Kabi, who is the winner of the Sharjah Film Platform's pitching competition and right before the break he was telling us a little bit about the film industry and he said that him winning is a win for the entire industry and it's making me wonder can you tell us more about the uae film industry because we don't hear about it that often um well we are living special times we're we, yesterday was the national day the 49th national day of our country mm-hmm. and um uh, uae has been really kind of progressing in every single field and we have to also kind of appreciate how far we've, we've gone yeah. in the cultural field mm-hmm. um, uh, it's a great time to be an artist here there's so much support, so much uh, uh, to see and, and, and the UAE also has been a, an incubator for for many uh, artists from around our world and the whole world and, mm-hmm. uh, especially in cinema where most of Arab cinema has really UAE has played kind of an active role in in bringing producers, directors, and all these people together. And um, we have started UAE Cinema has started uh, a long time ago, and it's um, it was kind of a movement back then uh, with individual efforts. And then the film festivals came along, and today we kind of see uh, sustainable Emirati films uh, being screened. Uh, in cinemas mm. and, and it, it's kind of becoming uh, common to see to see Emirati filmmakers and more people enter this field mm-hmm. um, so it's a, it's a great time I believe uh, we have a, a great responsibility uh, upon our shoulders because we, we are filmmakers who have new voices Yeah, and um, these new voices are going to take us far uh, as an industry so I I really advise all my fellow filmmakers to kind of keep their voices uh, true and uh, to kind of portray uh, uh, the beautiful cultural uh, uh, art scene here in in our country. So, um, yeah, there's much more to come. (laughs) I I hope so. I mean, I'm looking forward to that. And that's making me also wonder, especially since you said that the UAE is an incubator to filmmakers and artists alike, all sorts of artists across the entire UAE and beyond. So does that mean it is easier to become a filmmaker now in comparison to 10 years ago or maybe 20 years ago? Whichever year it is, you will need a lot of passion yeah. uh, to get into this field. Mm-hmm. Um, it's um, Without it, it can be... Uh, very difficult because there's a lot of uncertainties about it Mm -hmm. Um, so when this passion is there it's going to drive you through it and it's not just in film but in any other field Um, right now um, a lot of we have a fantastic uh, production uh, infrastructure in the UAE uh, even post production Mm -hmm. and um, the whole the tools and skills are there to make A class uh, films Um, uh, right now, I believe we should uh, be promoting uh, more training in this uh, in this field, field mm-hmm. um, and to kind of pursue um, to have more of the human uh, capital for it to to make it and uh, enable it to happen. Um, we are still a very uh, few numbers uh, who are in this field, and this field has an, an array of positions. Uh, it's not just filmmaker, or film directors and film writers. There's much more to it. We do not have uh, many uh, director of photography or mm. art directors, or people who are really involved in 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 in, in, in cinema production who are fro- who have the imagination of the UAE. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I would like to kind of press on having uh, actors 
uh, take on more of an active role in cinema and, mm -hmm. and to kind of specialize in this field. Um, because, as you know, cinema and film is kind of, it, it, to me, it's a high form of art. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and, um, yes. And, and, and the culture is coming there about cinema. Mm -hmm. It's coming about, and I believe our only challenge is time. Thank you. Honestly, we have. those are such inspiring words. Thank you so much for joining us, Abdullah Al Kabi. Unfortunately, our time is running out here on the afternoon cutak, but your words will not be forgotten. He is calling out to all people who are interested in film, all sorts of uh, film industry creatives. Go ahead and pursue your dreams. Thank you so much. And I hope you and all of our listeners have a lovely and wonderful and safe extended holiday. Stay tuned to Pulse 95. We've got Yella Home, Big Hass, and Anna Schofield coming up next, only here on Pulse 95. If you liked this episode of Afternoon Karak, drop a like and subscribe. Pulse 95. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.